Hello and welcome. My name is Amanda and today I have for you my plan with me for the week of October 29th through November 4th. And this week I am using the Meddling Kids Kit from Sticky Essentials. I did already um, lay down some sticky sloth designs, foiled pumpkins on the date covers there. And I'm going to apologize now um, because we've got a full house. Uh, we adopted another dog and we picked her up today so she's with us and she'll probably be well the dogs will probably be um, just running back and forth between the rooms and whatnot so um, yeah I guess I can tell you guys a little bit more about her um, so we adopted her through the same rescue that we got Ronan um, back in 2015. Um, the rescue is uh, God's Dogs Rescue, and they are based out of San Antonio, Texas. Um, and I have been looking at dogs for a little bit now. I mean, not actively searching to bring one home, but I do keep my eyes peeled. And, um, basically I had spotted a dog that I was really interested in. And when I reached out about her, I found out that she was already adopted. Um, but they gave me options for other dogs that were still looking for homes. And one of them was our pup that we picked up, uh, her name at the foster or um, through the rescue was Irana, but her foster mom called her Sweet Pea. And I absolutely know why because she is such a sweetheart. She, sorry, I'm grabbing some white out right now. Um, she loves to give kisses and just be in your lap and snuggle you and be right by you. Um, she does have one bad habit, which is that she's kind of a little shorty, so she likes to, um, stretch her paws up so that she's a little bit taller and can get pets easier. Uh, so we're going to have to work on that, but other than that, she seems to be settling in really well. Uh, she has met the kiddo, she's met Ronan, our other dog. And, um, at first we introduced them with Ronan on the leash because he can be a little bit excited and a little bit overwhelming. But after we saw that she was wagging her tail and just wanted to meet him, um, we let him off the leash but kept his harness on in case we had to hold him back or anything because he like I said he can be a bit overwhelming um but they just started running around the yard and playing and chasing each other and it was basically like they had known each other all along so I was really happy about that um Maddie boy went to my brother's house while we picked her up just to not stack too many triggers at once and to kind of ease her into meeting people. So um, once we saw that she was settling in pretty well with just us, uh, my brother brought the kiddo home and he, they both got to meet her and everything went really well. Um, she was a little standoffish of Maddie at first, but I think just probably because, um, her foster home she was in, I don't think had kids, but, um, I'm filming my plan with me right now and they were both sitting right next to me, just right over there on a blanket together for a little bit, I think. Um, Skylar just left to go to the store, so I think both the dogs are probably now sitting on the chase, staring out the window, waiting for him to get home. <laughs> um, yeah, but everything went really well. We, our pickup was scheduled for 9 a.m., 
in a town that's about 45 minutes or so away from us. And um, they said to get there about a half an hour early. And we ended up getting there about an hour early and they were already there. So we basically picked her up and got her home by the time that we normally would have picked her up. So it was really nice to have a little bit of extra time this morning. Um, and it, it's a nice day. It's pretty overcast. Um, the sun's been coming out in little patches here and there. But so she's been able to explore the backyard. Maddie or um, Ronan's been showing her around. And uh, in a little bit, I'm going to see if my parents want to come over and meet her. My mom was actually in the yard, in my yard, uh, when I got home. So she got to meet her briefly, but my mom didn't want to be in the way of her and Ronan's introduction. So she walked back home. Um, and I think at some point when Skylar was out trying to get her to go potty, my dad walked over just inside our gate and she was um, not too sure about him. <laughs> she would get a little close to him and then uh, kind of chicken out and run back to Skylar on the porch. So I think it'll be really good for her to meet them today and then that'll be it for introductions for today. Just so we're careful not to um, overwhelm her too much, but she's a really, really sweet puppy dog and my heart is just so full um, having her here. Uh, Ronan is a little bit, little bit jealous, but it's not like he's showing any um, like negative jealousy or anything like that. He's letting her get pets and uh, being okay if he's just in our face and not getting pets as well. So I think they're going to do really well. Um, and we did, with my brother, run to Costco really quickly. And so we put her in the kennel and she just laid right down in it. Was totally fine. So... Um, I think it's going to be a really easy transition and I couldn't ask for anything better to be honest. Um, I think these flags and boxes are different sizes. I don't know if they're completely different sizes. Um, so I think, let's see, do I want to continue on? Part of me kind of wants to stagger the boxes and the flags. But I don't know if that'll work. So maybe I will just put the boxes. I think I want the boxes at the top. Hmm. I don't know what I want. Shocker. All right, so I am going to put the full boxes at the top. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Yep, yeah, so um, it'll be interesting to see how this week goes. Um, with the pups. I do need to call the vet and get her an appointment with our vet. She did come like completely up to date on everything. Um, but just to introduce her to the vet, make sure we've got everything we need and she's all set is really important. So this kit, um, 
you didn't see in a haul or you won't see it in a haul until after this plan with me goes live and that's because I ordered it back in like August like the very end of August and um, I think at that time the shop owner whose name I believe is Delilah was um, like not long after I ordered it, she announced that she was changing papers to a vinyl paper. And um, it took way longer for this kit to show up than um, expected. Um, so I, I, I was kind of having reservations about the shop. Um, it was to the point where like I was starting to panic that I wouldn't have a Halloween kit in time. Um, and that I would have to order just a random one or something from um, a different shop. And I was really keen on using this kit because I loved the art so much. Um, but I ended up placing another order for one of her kit, well two of her kits actually, some Christmas kits, and these all um, about a month later and they all showed up the same day or like one day apart. Um, so I think the the lag in the processing time was that she was switching paper because I'm pretty sure this kit is on the same sticker paper as what she's using now. Um, But, I mean, her quality is really amazing. And the other kits that I ordered were actually Christmas kits. And the processing time and shipping time was extremely quick. So I think it was just a not great ordering time when I ordered this kit. So I had a bit of a funny taste in my mouth about the shop at first. But um, ultimately, I'm so excited to have this kit. I think it's stunning and um, her paper is really really nice. I've never used a vinyl before um, but these are really easy to lift up and it's just really smooth. Um, the, the stickers are extremely thin And I'd say it's a good kit. So I'm really looking forward to using the Christmas kits coming up. I know I've got some time, so I need to slow my roll. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it regardless. Let's see. Do I want to do next? I don't know. I think I'm not sure what I want for Thursday, but I do know that I want these three next to each other. You can probably hear Maddie being an animal with the animals. I might have to go check on him here soon and make sure that he's not riling up them up too much because Aoife did have, oh, um, we did name the puppy Aoife. Um, and she was spayed on last Saturday. And as I'm filming it today is Saturday the 27th. Um, I, her stitches are gone and her her incision looks really good, but just want to make sure she's taking it easy. And the dog's going crazy, I think, probably because the mailman is here. Uh, we'll do Scooby on this side because he matches the house. Sorry, that's Ronan barking like a madman. My planner doesn't um, lay flat anymore because it's so thick 
from the beginning of the year. <laughs> that makes it really tricky to lay down stickers. As soon as I lay down Shaggy, I'm gonna go ask the dog to stop barking so he's not teaching his sister some bad habits. All right, I gave him a stern talking to, but Skylar also just got home from the store, so it might be a little rowdy and loud in here. <laughs> this is gonna be my life from now on, and I'm perfectly fine with that. Alrighty. I think that looks pretty good. Oh, I need to lay down the glitter for this side. And sorry, you're not even able to see that. Alright. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let me finish the glitter headers and put down um, the checklists. I saved the ghost box for up here. So, as I'm planning, you probably already can tell, but this is the week of Halloween. And I know in one of my, like, last plan with me's, or the, a couple plan with me's ago, um, I had said that my friend and I, which is also my coworker, um, were going to dress up as Rogue and Jean Grey from X-Men, but we ordered our costumes off this cosplay site that is, um, I guess, based in China, and we followed the... Um, like sizing instructions, but the costumes came and they, we ordered a little big as well, but these were massively big. Um, way too long for both of us shorty pants. And uh, yeah, so basically I'm not going to keep my costume because it was really expensive and I would have to basically cut the torso in half and um, create a seam in the middle where there isn't one and then have to like strategically place my belt just so you couldn't see the seam. Um, I don't have the time to do that because I'm working on passing a class and also I just want to spend time with my family and the pup. Um, so I am returning my costume because it was expensive and it we followed the sizing guide and it should be right, but it's not. Um, so a bit of a change of plans then. I am going to now be just a rockabilly for Halloween. Um, one of my former coworkers had a bridal shower um, a couple years ago and it was a 50s themed bridal shower. So um, I decided to, instead of going the, like, traditional half voice route, I went the edgy rockabilly route. Um, so I've got a red with black polka dot, just wiggle dress. Um, and I'm going to attempt to do some victory rolls again in my hair, which kind of failed last time. <laughs> They're really hard to do. Um... I don't know what's gotten into Maddie. I'm sure you can hear him being a crazy animal out in the living room. I think he's just overstimulated and really excited. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do 
for my costume now. I could have like redone the Little Mermaid or redone a uh, Little Red Riding Hood or like the Mad Hatter or something, but I haven't worn this dress in a while. I don't really have anywhere else I would wear it except as like a themed party or a Halloween, so it's a good excuse to pull it out again, I think. So that's what I'm going to do now. Would love to know what you have planned if you um, are able to dress up at work or even if you've got kiddos what you've got planned to do with them. Maddie Boy was a big hairy spider. We went trunk or treating at his school um, last night and he wore his costume and there was this little kid in front of us um, waiting in line for games who was in um, a firefighter costume that I think is from Costco. I've seen it there at least. I don't know if it's in other stores. Um, but it's the same firefighter costume that Maddie was two years ago, I want to say. And he was giving Maddie the most disgusted look I've ever seen. Um, <laughs> and his dad even picked up one of Maddie's... Uh, wired legs I was like poking his son in the face with it and I think the kid was afraid of spiders so he was doing it to be facetious and stuff but uh, it was so funny every time he would look back at us he would just have the most disgusted look on his face and I totally agree spiders are gross <laughs> um, but yeah that was a lot of fun it was really nice to go to a school and kind of have him show us around a little bit. We got to go inside where the cafeteria and gym auditorium area is. And just walk around um, and trick or treat from, you know, parents or community members' trunks. I've never actually been trunk or treating before, so that was a really neat experience. I made it very easy. Alrighty, so now um, I'm going to let my camera cool down a little bit and pull up my sidebar stickers so that they're ready to be laid down. Alright, so here are the stickers I'm going to use. I have to look back just a couple to see okay if I kind of line it up with the bottom washi then we should be good And I'm just going to use the same colored glitter headers all the way up um, to match whatever box I'm laying down underneath it. Oh, and uh, one more thing, I did get the mini kit. So there aren't um, full ombre box checklists or headers or anything, which is fine. I like to just use glitter headers as my headers. Whoops, I think I put that one under the box a little. So basically, as soon as I'm done filming, we're gonna turn the rest of the day into a lazy day watch some movies, snuggle with the pups and the kid. Yeah, that works. Alrighty. Perfect. 
All right, so now um, I do want to, usually I do this last, but just to get it out of the way, I want to put down my EXO Halloween countdown. Was I doing it? At the bottom. So Monday is two days to Halloween. Um, okay. There we go. And then I've got just a couple left um, that aren't numbered, so I'll probably just stick them on a sheet and kind of categorize them as um, um, Halloween stuff for next year. <laughs> Alrighty. And then while I'm thinking about it, I'm also going to put down my weekend banner at the bottom. The only thing with the vinyl is they're a little trickier to get up than um, like a matte sticker or a glossy sticker is. That's pretty straight. I really like the script font that th she has there. Okay, so now into the day today. Okay, so where's my plans? Um, Monday I don't have anything going on yet. Tuesday I have a doctor's appointment, so let me see what she has in the way of appointment labels. Um, it looks like she's only got this blue one, which I can use for my violin lesson. Um, I think then I am just going to use a flag. And there's a green doctor icon that I'm going to layer over that. And then I'll just write in um, my appointment information. Wednesday is my violin lesson. And I'm going to orient it this way. Okay. And I've got these silver foiled music notes from Sticky Sloth Design. I did have to cut them down to fit in my um, storage system that I'm using now. But otherwise, it's a really nicely sized sheet, um, and her foil quality is really good as well. Okay, and then it's also Halloween, which I've got marked down there. Um, let's see, I think I'll probably save the Halloween decoration stuff in here for next year maybe. Um, I don't think I want to mark that it's Halloween just because I already do have a sticker that says Halloween. Actually I do, I am going to pull this Simply a Mess sticker just because I'm sure I'll probably have one next year and place it up at the top here. There, 
So now I really won't forget that it's Halloween. <laughs> um, I will have to remember to bring something in for our work potluck. I'm making a vegan um, pumpkin cake roll. So I'll probably, I'm just going to write that on my running list here. Um, so I can write it on a sticky note. I don't know if I'm going to make it Monday or Tuesday or if I'm going to make it over the weekend. So once I know that more, I'll actually put it in. Um, then I don't have anything until Saturday the 3rd, and it is my cousin's wedding. So I want to use, I think, just the solid green box there. It's not a very wedding related color, but it works for me. Because I do like to color block. <laughs> okay. And then I don't really have wedding stickers, but there is We've got a cake, we've got a party thing, and we've got a present. Um, is there a heart or anything, or didn't I pull something? Ah, I was going to use this once more with love um, emoji on this Scribble Prince Co. freebie. It's green, but it's like fangirling. So I thought it would be perfect to mark love. And then the last thing I have is um, the clocks fall back. So I'll probably just write that in my to-do up here. Um, and then I have to prep for Soup Monday. <laughs> um, during the fall and winter, um, the ladies in my office, we all... Um, put together a schedule for making soup on one of the Mondays and mine is uh, Monday the 5th so I need to remember that I actually have to make soup. Um, I don't think it's going to take all day though so I'm going to use this quarter box. And I think I will use the utensils right here. Alrighty. Let me get organized really quickly. Um, one other thing I was going to check was if I have any birthdays, so let me see about that really quickly before I put this whole thing out. I didn't have any um, birthdays to mark for this week, so the last thing I want to do is just see if there are icons to mark um, laundry and studying. No laundry? Okay, there's a vacuum though. So I'm going to use this person working at their desk to mark studying. And this vacuum cleaner to mark cleaning. that's all I need. All right, so this is what my spread is looking like for the week. As always, I will end up filling in 
more plans or just events throughout the week but I'm really liking this so far I just uh, this kit just screams Halloween for me I love it so much so I'm really glad that I did end up getting it um, these are the stickers I have left. I've got quite a few half boxes, quarter boxes, and flags left. I've got all of my cut washi strips. Um, quite a few icons left. Some three heart checklist boxes, a flight tracker, um, build do sticker. I've got my deco left. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's okay. Um, this heart checklist box that also has the ghost in it. Uh, movie marquee work stickers which I won't use anyway um, this extra kind of date cover but I guess you could use it for anything two more quarter boxes uh, excuse me and then my add-on page left I've got some orange glitter headers some fancy boxes here some quarter boxes and half boxes so that is everything and there are still a ton of stickers even with a full kit or a mini kit, excuse me. Um, so I really love how this spread turned out and I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. I will chat with you down in the comments until my next video. Bye.